हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल अगेन होप यू गाइस एंजॉयड माय लास्ट टू वीडियोस ऑन द फंक्शन ब्लॉक एंड फंक्शन एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एफ सी एंड एफ बी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज यूज एंड डिफेंट टैग और इन पीएलसी लैंग्वेज वी कैन से पीएलसी डेटा टाइप्स सो बेसिकली यू कैन सी इन माई स्क्रीन वी हैव सम इनपुट्स एंड सम आउटपुट्स ऑफ ए मोटर लेट्स से वी आर हैविंग ए मोटर एंड इट्स टैग इज मोटर स्टार्ट टॉप ट्रिप स्पीड सेट पॉइंट एंड मोटर पोजिशन सेट पॉइंट सो दीज आर आवर इनपुट्स एंड द आउटपुट ऑफ द मोटर इज मोटर ऑन आउटपुट टू मोटर एक्चुअल स्पीड सो वी आर हैविंग ए डेटा ब्लॉक एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड दोज टैक्स एंड बाई कंपाइलिंग एट ऑल्सो यू कैन सी द एड्रेसेस ऑफ दोज सो इफ यू आर हैविंग ओनली सिंगल मोटर और टेन टू फाइव टू सिक्स मोटर देन यू कैन गिव दिस कैंड ऑफ टैक्स लेट्स है यू आर Uh, ask to uh, generate another uh, you you are your boss is asking you to uh, create another logic for a motor too but the tags are same uh, everything is same so what you will do you will do uh, you are going to copy paste uh, paste it and on that time you have to give the name called as motor uh, in in the case of motor start you will call as motor to start push button then you will uh, do motor to stop push button likewise you will do right so this will take lot of time in small project it is okay but if you are doing a bigger project like 100 or 200 motor or 1000 of motors are there so you can't create 1000 times those tags right or you can create but it will take several times or hours to do the it will take hours to do the uh, logic right so to avoid this kind of logic what we will do in plc data type by expanding plc data type there will be option called add new data type okay so there is a data type is being created so what is data type you this data type means normally you can see the data type is boolean integer likewise the data types you have always seen this data type means it is your, it is your uh, own data type like it is a user data type so you are creating a data type in plc so let's give a name called motor okay motor data okay or we can say we will take inputs for uh, one uh, udt and for output another udt so motor in and another we will create another and its name we will give motor out okay so what is uh, what we are going to do now the motor block what we have the inputs all inputs are going to be a, a, uh, one plc data type and the output is going to be another data type so the all inputs i will cut it control x and in motor in i will paste it okay similarly the all motor outputs i am going to cut it and paste it in motor out data type okay so what is happening right now in motor in the motor start stop push button and motor trip all are being generated and in motor out data type the motor on output motor enable output these all are been generated so how we can call this motor in and out let's check out so in static so you are having motor one like as i said if you are having 100 of motors so first motors name is called as motor one data type so instead of giving boolean just type your name like your data types uh, you have created this data type right you have created this data type right so uh, call this motor let's type the name motor in so the pop up will come on motor in now your data type is being motor in so you can see there is a expand arrow mark is being generated automatically by expand expanding this one na, you will got to find your all type of input like motor start push button motor stop push button likewise so similarly let's call the output motor one output op let's name it is op and this one is motor one in okay and this tag would be motor out so what happened the start uh, motor output is having motor on op motor enable op uh, motor actual position motor actual speed and in in motor start push button stop push button trip speed set point motor position set point etc so you have just created a one motors in and out in few second let's uh, 
by using this you can create another motors output let's say motor to in and give the same tag copy and paste now you have created your motor to stack uh, motor to stack in just few seconds like in one to two seconds you have created those two and for motor to output let's copy and paste it and remain uh, rename into motor to output so you can see the motor to outputs are also being called so this is the method where you can create thousands of motors data in a very few second time or you can just like excel you can expand like this also so this will create hundred of motors data at a single time so you no need to write again and again the tags for the motors so it will generate you the outputs again if uh, some inputs is being created newly let's say uh, the motor is having now start stop trip and you have added another uh, input is called as motor emergency motor emergency okay and in its data type is boolean so you have taken a motor emergency also in output also you can say uh, take uh, like what output it, it could give uh, let it be the output let it be so or we can give a motor torque let's say motor actual frequency we will give okay frequency so this integer again is being created so the question is the name is already created so if it is edited let's see what are the uh, things is happening here so you can see all are being in red mark current uh, right now so you just need to right click it and update interface option so that your output will automatically generated for all your motors motor emergency has been generated automatically and in output motor actual frequency has been generated so in all motor you can see the all motors are already uh, means they have generated the tag automatically so this is the shortest uh, video i have made on the uh, motor stack and also you can uh, we will do a logic how the motor is being work in logic what will happen you can type wait a minute click on it detail view in motor one in you can drag and drop the value so what will happen if motor dot motor one in motor start push button then your output will fire okay so this one is motors logic motor one logic and for another you can do motor two logic also just copy paste and in the case of motor one just rename with motor two and same with motor two op so compile that data block it will give you the address so motor start push button uh, this one is motor two and this one is motor two on output and this one is motor one start push button and motor one uh, on op is there so by downloading this one you can see the logic so this is a short video again uh, again uh, for the udt how you can use the udt and you can use the uh, this udt in smart ways for different projects also or different topics also so we will cover one by one so we can't do the uh, whole pro uh, problems in one video the video will be lengthy so now you can see by turning on this output only motor one is output is coming and the, and if you are turning on this output then motor 2 is getting on and by off the motor is getting also off so in db also you can see by going online motor 1 in on motor 1 output is on motor 2 in on motor 2 output is on let's go online so you can see by clicking on start push button the output of motor on will be true so if this one is true that this one is getting true if this one will true then this one will also true so this is it for today uh, so hope you understand the uh, points against udt if you are having any doubts then you can comment beyond the uh, description and for how to add plc logic and many more videos uh, about siemens 
you can check out my description box and you will get the library of Siemens. So thank you. Thank you.